Welcome to episode three in our series on building a responsive and progressive web app in Kony Visualizer. I'm Billy Hollis. And in this episode, we'll take the app that has already been developed in the first two episodes and add progressive web app capabilities. At the end of the second episode, our application looks like this. We won't be making any functional or cosmetic changes in this episode. We will instead take care of adding capabilities to turn the app into a progressive web app, or PWA. We'll also put the app through a test to validate PWA capabilities and show the app running on a mobile phone. For your app to be considered a progressive web app, it needs to satisfy certain expectations. Those include fast loading and appropriate use of HTTPS, and that the app can be installed on a mobile device's home screen and offer a full screen experience. Fortunately, Kony Visualizer and Kony Fabric go a long way towards satisfying those expectations. There are basically two tasks that you need to accomplish. One is to set the option for the project that enables PWA capability, and the other is to supply a manifest that PWA capabilities need. Here is the manifest that we will use. It contains a lot of information to help install the app onto the home screen if a user decides to do that. Now let's turn on that PWA functionality. Go over to the settings dialog for the project. And on the desktop web tab, you'll see a checkbox to enable PWA. And here is where you put in the manifest. Let's browse to the place where I put it, which is on the Kony and the logos that we were looking at before. There we see the appliances manifest that I just showed you in the PowerPoint slide. Open that. While I'm here, I'm going to change the back end I'll be using to publish the PWA. It's not uncommon for you to have a production cloud account that's separate for what you do for development. So we're ready to press finish. That saves the project settings. And now we're ready to build. To ensure the best performance for the PWA test, we will do this build to release instead of debug. Right there's where we change that. And so let's build. And as usual, I will pause the video while the building is happening. Finally, we need to publish our app to the Kony Cloud account, which you saw me select a few moments ago. Much of the work to enable PWA functionality is in the Kony Cloud, and you get benefit of it automatically. To publish to the cloud, select File, Publish to Kony Fabric. And now we see the place we're going to publish, and that's the new cloud account. All I have to do is press the Publish button. I will suspend the video during the publish process because it does take a while. There is some feedback on the publishing process that comes up there at the bottom. So I'll suspend now and we'll wait until the publish is finished. Now the process is finished for publishing the app to the cloud and we get a URL that shows where the app is located. Now we're ready to test the app to see if its PWA functionality is complete. So I'll copy that so that I can paste it into a browser. I've pasted that URL into a browser window and brought it onto the screen and we can see that our functionality is as expected. We can go to different categories. We can see resizing of the UI as we go to various places. If we get very narrow, we'll see some of the breakpoint effects in the list box and the search box. We can, of course, go to a separate page and see We've got some responsive layout there as well. That's the detail page. The last thing we need to test in the app is to see if all of the PWA functionality is lit up. Notice a button right here. This is from an extension to Chrome, and I'll put the address to get that extension on the screen. Let's press that, and we'll do the Lighthouse test. You'll see there is Generate Report, and it brings up another window. It checks out various things about the application to see how it performs from a PWA perspective. And as you can see, this app gets a score of 100 as a progressive web app. There is the complete check. 
And so from Google's perspective, we have an application that fulfills all the expectations of a progressive web app. One final test for PWA functionality is how the app works on a mobile device. I've connected my Android phone to an app called Airmore so that I can show the phone's screen to you. Now, let's go to the same URL that I put earlier into the browser to see the app there. And there we see our app. We've got all of the layout that we expected. It conforms to the phone's screen. It's got the functionality that I put in place, adapted, of course, for the way the phone works. I can search and get appliances within the search. I can go to the details for an appliance. Notice that option at the bottom to add this app to the home screen. So I will press that and do a confirmation. At this point, Hot Deals will be in the list of applications for the phone. So I'll navigate to that and show you that it's there. And here is the application screen. We see Hot Deals and if I press it, we see that we go to the application in full screen mode. So that shows that we have a fully functional PWA application on the phone. I hope you've enjoyed this video series showing some of the latest capabilities of the Kony development platform. As I've mentioned in the other episodes, you can get more information at Kony Basecamp, available at the address shown on the screen. It has lots of resources to help you continue your journey in learning how to develop applications with Kony products.